Looking to self-host your own RSS reader? Fresh RSS is a lightweight, powerful, and open source solution that works great for managing your feeds. Today, I'll show you how to install Fresh RSS using Docker. It's quick, efficient, and secure. I will install it on my Ubuntu 24.04 VPS. If you want a VPS, check out the links in the description. Before we begin, ensure you have the following. A system with Docker and Docker Compose installed, a domain name or local IP address for accessing fresh RSS. If you don't have Docker installed yet, check out my earlier video on how to set it up. Link is in the description. Docker is already installed on my system at first. Let's create a directory for fresh RSS and navigate into it. Paste the following configuration into the file. This file specifies the services, volumes, ports, and other configurations instructing Docker Compose on how to set up and manage the fresh RSS container. Now let's bring fresh RSS to life. Run the following command to start the container. This will download the fresh RSS image, create the container, and start it in detach mode. Once it's done, open your browser and go to your server, IP, and add port 8080 or localhost, and add port 8080 if you're running it locally. In the browser, you'll see the fresh RSS setup wizard. Follow these steps. Choose your preferred language and click Next. Enter a username, password, and the database type as SQLite. Complete the wizard to finalize your setup. Once done, you'll be redirected to your fresh RSS dashboard, ready to start managing feeds. For secure access, consider setting up a reverse proxy with Nginx or Trafic along with SSL certificates using Let's Encrypt. This step is especially important if you're hosting fresh RSS on a public server. They are plenty reverse proxy setup guide on YouTube, and that's it. 
you now have fresh RSS running on Docker, ready to streamline your RSS feeds. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more self-hosting tutorials, and share your thoughts or questions in the comments below. Happy self-hosting!